Everyone's excited about all electric trucks that are coming to the market relatively soon, uh, especially here in America, because every other American loves driving a pickup truck. I see more of it uh, here in Sacramento now that I moved here than ever before. Every other person drives the damn huge pickup truck, even people who can barely climb into it and much less put anything in the actual bed. But everybody has one uh, and uh, even around the world this this is definitely something exciting because uh, you know some of the specs need to be a little bit better than than your regular sedan so you know the technology is slowly getting there um, and of course Rivian is leading the way and I, by the way I love the picture of this Rivian truck um, not really sure if uh, um, the photographer was shooting the sunset and the truck got on the way or they were trying to take a picture of the truck and a sunset got on the way it worked for sure it's just just gorgeous i think of course we're going to talk about Rivian as well but uh we're going to talk about five different electric trucks that are going to be hitting uh the market in the next couple of uh years and one of them is actually going to be hitting the road in just a couple of weeks i don't know if you've heard of it but if you haven't i will definitely tell you all about it coming up next Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, so uh, let's talk about top five electric trucks that are hitting the market in the next couple of years. And by, by top five, I really mean the only five electric trucks that I believe that are actually going on production. I'm trying, I'm going to skip the um, concept electric trucks um, that where the companies really have nothing going on except for the current license for the Photoshop. As you know, I myself know Photoshop a little bit uh, uh, relatively well, so I got my own concept car going, as you probably have heard, the enormous BS 550, as you can see right here, a gorgeous car, and uh, you know, I, I just like I said, that took me about 10 minutes in Photoshop, so, and, and I didn't have that much to work with, by the way, this was made out of the uh, 1992 Toyota Camry in a weird abandoned parking lot, as you can see. So I did what I could, but I'm very proud. I have high hopes. All right, but let's talk about um, the uh, five electric trucks. And we're going to start, well, you might be surprised, with a Bollinger B2. This is an uh, all-electric truck that's coming to the market uh, very soon because they're just about to hold their unveiling um, at the end of September. Um, I'm invited, actually, but I'm, I'm not really sure if I could go. It's in Michigan, and that's where they're based. Uh, it is a very interesting animal. So they have a B1 truck, which is a SUV, and this one is a B2, a brother or sister truck. Um, which is very similar, uh, but of course it has a bed, so it's a pickup truck, and people have been peeing their pants. Uh, the, co the company has just uh, posted this uh, uh, four-year anniversary video, so they've been around for four years. They've uh, mastered quite a few uh, technologies. One of them, though, is not shooting pictures and videos in color though so hopefully hopefully that will catch up so all of their media videos and pictures are in black and white which i think is kind of goes you know with their brand and um here's the specs for their um uh, b2 truck as you can see uh 614 horsepower uh we're talking about uh, 200 mile range so their their range is going to be good so there's torque and and, and uh, towing capacity and all that stuff uh, that that people do care about um and it's pretty impressive you know for what they've been able to accomplish with a relatively small uh team uh now there's here robert bollinger um uh, you know, I, I was on my show, I uh, believe, believe, last year, and uh, let me play a real, little clip from it uh, about him talking about how this truck is very different. It is, it, they're not looking to do the flat screens or self-driving technology. This is just going to be, you know, kind of a rough, uh, uh, kind of a Jeep almost type of a truck. Um, so here's a piece of my interview with uh, Robert Bollinger. Let me ask you about this. Um, obviously, self-driving technology has been a big part of uh of electric cars right even though it's really completely separate really right. because tesla incorporated them first i guess um and um and you guys don't have that right because i mean uh, right. obvi obviously it's not n nobody would want to be uh self-driven through a <laughs> through a mountain right, uh, climb, right, right? right exactly right um, right <laughs> kind of uh, um yeah so it's funny because we got that question so many times is, is 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 it autonomous and somehow electric autonomous became 
combined and it's they're just both coming around at the same time where yeah. the whole automotive thing is being disrupted right so uh yeah no our vehicle is purposely opposite of uh what's out there we don't have a, a, a touch screen we don't have um there's no way for you to talk to your uh, b1 from far away it's it's a self self-contained truck and um, yeah, it's all hands-on, it's like a tool. So it's, we definitely have no interest in going autonomous in any kind of way. Fair enough. And, and you know, I totally understand. And I think people who are gonna be going for this truck probably won't want the flat screens or self-driving. We just like I mentioned, if you're driving up a mountain or off-roading or you're uh, uh, overlanding, you don't really need or want the self-driving. This is, this is for people to enjoy um, the drive. So. All right, I'm, I'm hoping to make it to their unveiling. If not, I'm definitely gonna cover it. And after that, you know, they will be going production, I'm assuming within half a year. So I'm definitely uh, looking forward to that. Um, so now let's talk about the uh, Rivian truck, uh, which has been a, a huge hit. You would think it's been around for a while. Now, the company's been around for a while, but the unveiling only happened less than a year ago. There's a LA auto show. And, uh, you know, it just took everybody by storm. I mean, there are quite a few um, unveilings that happened last year. You know, I just never seen such huge sort of uh, 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 excitement. And it, it wasn't just excitement at that day or week or whatever. Rivian was able to keep everybody excited throughout the last, what, 10 months or so. And um, just by talking about their batteries and how they're made and all the different configurations. And now they have a kitchen and, you know, it's really big in the overlanding com community. So they've done absolutely um, amazing job with that um they are all going to production at least that's what they're saying and they're going to production um by the end of the next year and i believe them because um you know they actually are one of the few companies that that acquired a factory uh before an unveiling and uh here's my interview with rj their ceo at their unveiling in los angeles talking about their factory so we we purchased the plant from mitsubishi about a year and a half ago january of 2017 uh, I've heard of that company, I think. But okay, <laughs> and we're now in the process of converting that facility from what it was producing before, which was Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi products, into, of course, producing Rivian products. And a lot of aspects of the plant can be reused with very little change. So paint shop, there's some improvements, but the basic layout's there. The, the stamping operation, very few changes. Uh, but the body shop, what welds together the bodies and puts the bodies together, is going to be a lot different than what you see in Mitsubishi. The assembly, relatively similar. Uh, but then we're adding our whole battery assembly facility and we're adding all the, the way we build the modules and put those modules into pack is being added as we speak. So I'm, I am, I think everyone's excited about them, by the way. So the truck is going to start at about $70,000, so going to go over 400 miles. There's a lot of other amazing specs and the, the kitchen and the configurations and all of that stuff. Um, so uh, it, it is definitely a, a, a leading uh, sort of hope, I'm on with maybe Tesla uh, for those who are looking for an electric truck. And uh, by the way, recently um, Amazon and Ford had invested in uh, in this uh, in in Rivian, and that's why we're going to talk about Ford next because now. I believe Ford when they are saying that they're going to be producing an all-electric truck. So let's talk about it um, in just one second. Before that, of course, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out their all-electric uh, uh, SUV called Ambyte, uh, starting at only $45,000 before the incentives. So uh, check it out in the description of this video. You're able to reserve this with absolutely no money down or deposit. Over 50,000 of us have done so. So go reserve your Biden today, and I will see you at the Biden store. All right, so let's talk about uh, the uh, Ford uh, pickup truck that they recently created a video. Now, uh, this is not what it's gonna look like, but they've created this big, huge hoopla video that looked like the beginning of the drug deal, and it was all really interesting. And then the guys who were participating, they're like a big F-150 truck you know lovers and owners and stuff like that it was it was funny in so many different ways and by the way one of the guys in the video who i kind of made fun of because he was the funniest um he reached out to me the next day on instagram and now we're friends so um small world anyway so now the you know ford did reach out to me and said hey just want to make sure you know that this truck we're not really making with a rivian anything like this is just our thing and yes but now that you've invested in rivian and you have access to that technology i am more convinced that you can do it um, now i believe the deal is that uh, uh some of it uh, some of the fords um 
some of the Ford's, uh, let's see, where is the video? Oh, yeah. Some of the Ford's uh, parts, like powertrain and so forth and batteries, will be produced uh, at the Rivian's factory. But, uh, you know, the, the, the project for this particular truck is right now separate. I think they're going to merge it, so we'll see what happens. But I do believe that when Ford says, okay, I we're, we're actually on the way of, of creating this uh, all-electric pickup truck. So, uh, now let's move on to another. Remember how I promised you that there is a pickup truck that's on the market pretty much right now they're in production right now well i have made a video about it and if you haven't seen it this is about the nissan's pickup truck which they have created uh with um uh Dongfeng, uh, motors it's actually called rich 6 ev because there's rich 6 is just a regular uh, gas truck um you know they just basically swapped the uh the engine with a motor put the battery in there and off they went uh, but this is in production now only for chinese audience but it's there now just like i said it's it's kind of already made out of the uh, parts that they've been making for a while for the gas truck uh 68 kilowatt hour battery which is you know uh, enough but um the epa if you were to transfer this to epa range we're talking about 170 180 miles so not bad i gotta tell you not bad the only bummer about this truck is that actually the top speed is 68 miles an hour <laughs> i don't know if it's actually software limited or if this is the motor really that weak but uh, so that's just the only bummer um, but there's a really awesome two awesome things about this one one I already told you that because it's in production right now but also after the incentives in China this truck will actually cost less than 20,000 American dollars if you will convert uh, that so and again they kind of quietly kind of snuck it in um, but yeah this this thing is gonna be driving around on the roads of China all electric pickup truck and we're all going to be living our jobs hoping it comes to the us at some point uh but we'll see so that's pretty cool uh and of course now let's talk about the tesla pickup truck that uh, you know this is the only picture that we have um now i know elon and i don't know if he's making a mistake by doing this but he promising a very sort of a, a alternative uh, he called it cyberpunk truck um i call it I forgot to turn my copier machine off before I left the room and 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 turn the lights off. I, I what is it? What is it? There's so many people who try to do the rendering based on this, and none of it makes any sense. As a matter of fact, I you know this is the front. Elon con, con, you know obviously confirmed that this is the front. If it was a back, the lights were red, by the way, so you could figure it out. And but, but uh, the, by the way, the, the way he unveiled it when we were at the Model Y uh, unveiling. Apparently, when we all went back to, you know, to the back to do the uh, test drives, they flashed it on a screen really quick. Like, turn the lights off and flashed it, and nobody noticed. So he had to just tweet it out, I think, the next day. Um, I hope he doesn't go too crazy, because people who drive pickup trucks, they are not into slick. You know, they just more into, like power and manly looks and all of that stuff so i hope he's not making a mistake um 400 to 500 mile range um he says it's gonna start at under fifty thousand dollars which is really amazing that's beating pretty much any, everybody except for of course the uh, nissan truck in china uh but you know and of course the specs are going to be amazing the, the question is when they're going to be making it because you can argue that uh um uh, you know uh, nissan has a factory for their truck uh even the rivian has a factory for their truck but but tesla does not have a factory for their pickup truck uh so there's a lot to be figured out but obviously they are the leader in electric cars and everybody is going to be comparing specs and pretty soon looks to what they got going on the rumor is they're going to be unveiling it before the end of the year they have to right because this is like the next big thing um elon mentioned that this is one of his favorite projects right now that he's working on so i'm definitely excited we'll see but you know five trucks um things are getting close i i think a couple of years ago we weren't even talking about any of this pickup trucks were so far away from the future now they're much closer let me know in the comment section which one uh you would prefer yourself and why and what would be your uh a price point uh, at which you would buy a pickup truck all right looking forward to your comments other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged